New at six, Metro Police face a multi-million dollar lawsuit linked to a needle prick and a slap. The police officer was decommissioned. Now the woman she allegedly hit is suing. And she tells News Channel 5's Nick Barris what happened goes far beyond just one slap to her face. Many of you may remember this case. It happened here at this apartment complex in Antioch. You had a suspect in custody, a Metro police officer frisking her, suffering a needle prick to the finger from a syringe hidden in the suspect's bra. Moments later, the officer allegedly slapped the suspect. Soon after, Officer Elizabeth Barry Locks was put on desk duty and charged with misdemeanor assault. But the woman Barry Locks allegedly slapped disputes much of the officer's story. First, she says there was no yeah, needle stick. She pulls it out of the bottom of my bra by the plunger in and not the needle end. And she was like, are you kidding me? I could have been stuck and sets it on the bed and grabs my hands and turns me around and hits me the first time. And she hit me so hard I fell back on my bed. Rachel Hall claims Barry Locks hit her a second time and then did something else never reported. After that, she turned me around and spread my legs and then pushed me over on my bed. And that's when she started to go inside of me. It was a violation of her civil liberties. Uh, it was also very sadistic behavior. Attorney says Phillips Finney says police did not have probable cause and a subpoena to do a body cavity search right there on the scene. Hall, who showed up while the raid was in progress, was arrested with several other people already at the apartment. Finney says after she was booked, her client then spoke with Metro sex crimes detectives. Rachel was taken to the hospital for a sexual assault examination. Hall was initially booked on drug and gun charges with the others, but Finney says the charges were all dropped. The contraband was not hers. Now she and Hall are suing for $3 million, citing, among other things, excessive force and malicious prosecution by the PD. The lawsuit was just filed, and the city and Metro PD have not had a chance yet to look it over to comment. In Nashville, Nick Barris, News Channel 5. By the way, Barry Locks was never removed from decommissioned status and she left the Metro Police Force this past May.